Good morning, you people. Are you ready to build your image today? You can do better than that. Let me repeat the question. Are you ready to build your image today? If you are, may I suggest, why don't we all transfer nearer? Okay, so why don't you come forward? Feel free to occupy our second, third, and fourth rows because we are going to make the next 30 minutes a very interactive session for all. I know, and I can see that it's lunch break, but just hold it off. So we assure you it's going to be a, a most interesting time for all of you. So, if you said you are, and looking at our title, you can see that it's all about image building for the 21st century graduate. Before I click any further, let me now throw a question. Can someone here tell me, what is image? Anyone? Have you thought about it? So this is your favorite area, so that means I'll be looking at this group, right? So we don't want to leave anyone really feeling left out. So feel free to compress and we'll make the most of our group today. So can, can anyone here tell me about image? What is your concept of image? Do you have any idea what you're in for today? Anyone? Any volunteer at this moment? You're all too quiet. So hopefully in a while that will change, right? So going back to my question, image. Image is all about perception, don't you think? It's a mental image or it's a mental idea that you have of yourself, which could either be positive or negative. So today's image building, we hope definitely to touch on the positive side. So allow me to share. If you're wondering, who is that girl? Well, that girl is now the adult version standing in front of you. That was during my elementary years. If my memory serves me right, I, at that time, I was around seven or eight years old. And here, much younger, I think I was four or five, I don't remember, but obviously I was a flower girl for someone's wedding, right? And even at that time, even at a young age, certain perceptions are already being formed. Of course, that early on, I had no idea I'd end up being an image consultant. Nobody knew, right? If you, like me, grew up in my hometown, which is Puerto Princesa City, Palawan, then by all means you would know. And somehow you went to kindergarten when you were asked, what do you want to be when you grow up? Has anyone encountered that? Can you be brave enough as to raise some hands if you've encountered that? Somehow you've said that part, right? I remember clearly well mine when I grow up. I want to be an international flight attendant, that's what I said. Well, fast forward, many years later, I did and was privileged to be given the, the chance to be with Northwest before when they had a Manila opening, now Delta. But then again, God has a different plan because I got segued into modeling, into hosting, and image consulting, so bye-bye. The FA dream. So, moving further, for the next particular slide, this actually started my print modeling career. Because little did I know at that time, there was a nationwide search for a local magazine called Mod. And at the time, since they conducted a nationwide search, obviously it was not only I who was very much interested to be on the cover. So were the many, many numerous beautiful girls. And from there on, we got cut into half. And from there, we ended up doing a photo shoot. But then again, at the photo shoot, I still remember very well. So who is it, who's it gonna be, right? So that's a question at the back of my mind. So to make a long story short, one fateful day, September, September 1992, some of my college classmates, amongst which are very close friends of mine up to now, were the ones who said, you know what, you came out with the cover. And I would say the rest is history. But what's my point here, everyone? Why did I show you these particular photos and slides? It's to actually leave one particular thing, and that is inspiration. Because whatever you do, 
whether it's simply to excel academically, whether it's to land the job of your dreams, we all have got to start somewhere, right? So in your case, it's excelling academically. Then maybe as you move ahead, another thing should stand out, and that is training. And this is where we come in, right? Because we as image consultants are supposed to be your allies. We're supposed to be your best friends to help you move forward in the various areas. And mind you, it's a very, very broad field out there. So, let me ask you this particular question. As you can very well see on screen, can you look at one another at this particular moment? Look at one another. By the way, we missed out on one important thing. Everyone, may I ask you to please rise for a moment? Come on. You've been sitting down for a good number of minutes. It's time to, to work out and exercise some muscles, right? So everyone has got somebody on his or her right side. So why don't you tap the shoulder of the person on your right, right now, and pay and give one particular compliment. Say something nice. Say something positive. It could be a simple thing as, I love the color of your shirt, or what the cool footwear you're wearing. Come on, say something. I trust that all of you are indeed saying something. Now, tap the shoulder of the person on your left and say this, and you believe me. <laughs> right? So, thank you so much for that. Meantime, sit down, everyone. Looking at one another this time, can you ask this question? Am I successful today? Or ask, ask your partners, are you successful today? Answer, everyone. You know, there's only two choices here. Either you give a yes or a no. So for the majority, what answer do we hear? Are you successful today? Make a choice. Make a choice, right? Remember, the choice you make today will impact your future later on. So better say something that you will not regret. Right? What's my point? Thinking further, what do you see on screen, everyone? Let's make this fast and quick. What do you see on screen? Are these all perceptions of how we see success to be like? Whether you're enjoying good food, whether you're feeling self-confident, whether you're, you're, you actually have a job, or at least you've tried working part-time, whether you have big dogs, or whether you're traveling, regardless of whether it's within the country or overseas. Is this how we view success today, everyone? At least this is how the world views it, right? In terms of success, if you have all of this, then by all means you must be doing very well. But then again, let me share further. Do you know that all of us are special? It clearly says, Psalm 139 verse 13, For you four my four parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. What a timely reminder for all of us, right? So uh, the next time around that you are doubting your capacity, may I remind all of us to go back to the basics, right? To go back to the basics and remind ourselves, I am special. So at this point, do you know that there is power in what we call positive affirmation? Have you heard of that before? So, why don't we give it a try? At this point, and looking at the slide so far, may I suggest that you say this one particular sentence. And you know what's that? Look at one another. Say it with 100% conviction, the following words. I am special. So how are you going to say that? Ready, set, and go. <laughs> When you said it, you better believe it, right? And believing is only half of the game. You've got to act on it. So let me now ask, how do we make that happen? 
Do you know that there are areas under total image management that I wanted to share very, very quickly? And just like this lady on our slide, looking at her face, she's made up of puzzle pieces, right? Which means that without the rest, we won't be complete as an individual. Do you know what this one is? Can anyone make a guess? What you are seeing right now is what we call inner image. It's the hidden part of you. Everyone has got this inside, right? Regardless of whether you're male or female. So you have this inside you. So now the question is, are you being true to yourself, right? This is something hidden from the public eye. But for those people who are pretty much close to us, they would see this and they would know you by this. Moving further, second area of total image management with a question, what are people saying about you? So in this case, it's all about assumed image. Remember, with assumed image, two things can happen here. Either what they're saying is correct and true, or, other, or either what they're saying is the total opposite, which is not you. So, what will make people say something and for them not to believe it, right? So it's all up to you. Thirdly, we have, this is actually a very big part of image, because after all, this has to do with what we call visual image. So this is who you are. The moment you enter the auditorium, the moment you enter a classroom, wherever you go, the moment you make your presence felt, people see you. And they see you from head to toe. So from your grooming to your, your makeup or how, how clean shaven you are if you're male, to your apparel, to your clothes, to even your footwear. People take notice of details, right? And it's very important that if we want to actually project an image that is successful, so everything has got to go well together. Fourthly, we have what we call, looking at all of these, whether you have a warm smile, a feeling of confidence, correct body posture, this is what we call experience image. How, how long have you been doing what you're doing? Well, the answer to that would be dependent on your current age, right? Because we've all been trained from childhood to present, doing many, many things, right? And sometimes, old habits are very difficult to break, don't you think? What's our point when it comes to that? Bear with me, because in a little while, I'll be asking for some volunteers to showcase our point. So let me just show you the last one. The last one has to do with what we call your proven image. And in, the, and in this case, it's simply what we call your track record. Are you keeping up to people's expectations of you? Are we getting it so far, everyone? So among the five different areas of image that falls under total image management, I don't know which one you would feel would be your top priority. But let me mention that all five are equally important because in order to shine, in order to stand out as an individual, it's very, very important that we make use of all the five areas. At this point, you know what, out of curiosity, how many days a week do you come here to UP Diliman to study? Seven, so there's no Sabbath day, right? So even on a Sunday, you're here. So whether it's for extra activities or something, okay. That, that's, uh, I understand, like especially those in the fourth or the fifth years. So you must have, you must not have been sleeping these days, right? So since I heard a seven number, may I now suggest we have a big stage, all right? So an elevated area here. May I have seven volunteers on stage, please? Let's not waste time. Every minute counts, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right? Can we give all seven of them a big hand?
thank you for being great for all of years, okay? So my point here is, let me ask, are you all familiar with, with the classic business handshake? Hello everyone, handshakes. You heard of that, right? Yes, is it important? Yes, and what a better time to learn doing the right type of handshake than to learn it today. Not tomorrow, not when you're out in the corporate world. You have to learn it soon. And soon means today, right? So seven of you, all right. So how do we go about this, handshakes? There are two things that you can learn here out of this example. Either your handshake will be your image maker, which I'm assuming all of you would want, right? Or on the other hand, it could be an image breaker. No way, after this session, will you let that happen? Okay, so first, first stop. Hi, what's your name? Nick. Nikki, yes. Nikki, will you please step forward and extend your hand, please? Okay, classic example of what we call lip handshake. It's so lame to actually do this, right? I'm barely touching her hand. So it's just four of her fingers. So everyone, do not do this. Thank you so much, Nikki. Next one, please. May I have your name? Step forward. Sam, yes. So Sam, please extend your hand, please. So another type of handshake, if that is the lip handshake, I'm going to exaggerate, right? So Sam, how do you feel about this type of handshake? Threaten. Because what we just showed you is a classic example of what we call the bone crusher. And trust me, you don't want people to hate you for crushing their bones. Thank you so much. Third, please, step forward. What's your name? Okay, so another type of handshake would be, can someone please hold my mic? <laughs> Everyone, I know, campaign season is just around the corner. <laughs> and we see this a lot of times, right? What just happened here? What was that all about? Time to actually meet the person. Will you actually end up looking sincere if you do that? Tell me. So how would that make you feel? Uh, somehow so we And maybe you'll end up raising a big question mark, which is a doubt, right? Okay, thank you so much for that. Next please, step forward. What is your name? Angeli. Angeli, okay, so for Angeli, it's like this. So extend the hand, all right, some people. Some people actually would shake someone's hand, but mind you, looking at my left hand, where am I holding? Yes, thank you. I just showed you an example of the handshake doing the wrist hold. So, don't do that. Don't do that, all right? Thank you so much. Next, please. What's your name? Angela. Angela. So, if that was the wrist hold, We're moving up, right? So if that was the wrist hold, next is actually the elbow grip. Are you supposed to do that? No. So again, you're not supposed to do that. Thank you so much. Next please. You are? Okay. So for Lapan, another type of handshake would be, I know all of you are very keen and observant. Are we learning so far? Thank you. Some people do a handshake and they do this. Right? What is this? It's like we're having a power struggle, right? So it's uh, the upper hole type of handshake, which in reality you shouldn't do. Because a handshake is supposed to be 50-50, which means that what you give, what you extend, should be reciprocated. Half and half, right? Thank you so much for that. And lastly, last but not the least, you are? Yeah. Yes. So for Gerald, what we, what we will be showing you right now is the right type of handshake. So I believe after the six, after the six don'ts, we are now ready to do the right thing. 
So how do we do that, everyone? So in doing your handshake, make sure that you are not so far. We are not in the province to say, hi, everyone, right? So you can be closer, but not this close, right? Keep more or less an arm's length. And make sure when you extend the hand, you are actually web to web. So web to web, okay, grip it firmly, and ideally anywhere from two to four pumps should be okay before you release. And by all means, eye contact and smiling and all the other type of positive body languages are more than welcome. Have we learned something so far, everyone? May I suggest why don't you take this moment to shake some hands and please make sure, let it be an image maker for you. Thank you so much, our volunteers. Please go down. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're actually learning. Do you know, according to Albert Merapian, we have what we call the 3D rule. 3D rule meaning verbal, vocal, and visual. Out of all of these, guess what? Body language accounts for a, a big chunk, which is 55%. So what's my point? With that being said, and it's scientifically proven, may I suggest we say it with body language. Okay? And not just any type of body language, we say it with positive body language. So how are we going to do that? If we learn how to be an image maker in our handshake, let me leave with you simple tips, all beginning with, with the letter S, how we can do this right. So everyone, our first S, sun. Saying it with positive body language simply means that when you stand, you are in control. You are in control of your body, of your weight, from head to toe. So make sure that you don't stand this way or this way. So make sure to carry your weight well, right? So lengthen and stretch because you are meant to look the tallest way possible, right? So the second S would be C. With your eyes, with our eyes, we look around us. With that very eyes, we see people. So take this chance to do just that. Now that you're standing, looking at each other, using the eyes to see. Third would be smile. Smile? Do you know that it takes more muscles to frown than it is to smile? So, definitely you wouldn't want premature wrinkles out of nothing, right? So might as well have it because you were smiling and, and you were actually practicing positive body language. So what are we learning so far? Stand, see, smile, right? So what's the fourth one? Let's keep it at number four for today. Stay. Stay. So the question is, what are you supposed to say? Introduce yourselves, everyone. I am. Come on, introduce yourselves. You know, for the purpose of this introduction, I want to add an extra challenge for all of us. And would you like to know what the challenge is? Add an adjective before your nickname and make sure it has the same beginning letter as your nickname. I'm Candid Carol, standing before you. So if that's me, who are you? <laughs> Say something, everyone. That's the fourth S. <laughs> I'm glad that you're all cooperating. Thank you so much, everyone. Please take your seats and let me finish our last few slides. So how do we do all of this? Are you well groomed from head to toe? Is your apparel in style? So hopefully, remember, you may be wearing civilian clothing here at the University of the Philippines, but in any case, let me remind all of us, we are not at the comfort of our homes. So, please 
being conscious of that and be considerate of people around you. Body language of confidence, that's what we've just done. And in that case, it's all under what we call appearance. So this is the appearance section of image. Next, a change in behavior begins with a change in heart. So what do we have on this particular slide? Positive attitude. Do you actually exude that from you and from within you? Consideration for others. You are not the only one in this room and in this world, right? Willingness to change because if there's one thing constant in this world, that is change. All of these fall under the B category, which is what we call behavior. Are we getting it so far, everyone? Lastly, are you an active listener? What is the difference between passive listening and active listening? Do you remember anything that was said so far today? I hope you have, because we've been very, very visual and interactive so far with the limited time that we have. So in this case, voice of confidence. When your phone rings, what is the usual word that you end up saying firsthand? Hello, isn't it? In our culture, that's what we say. So at this point, let's practice looking at each other. Why don't you say the word hello and let's hear how you sound. <laughs> Individually, you may be faint, but then again, together, collectively, we are actually powerful at that. And lastly, the human connection, because you can never move to the next step unless you're actually connected. And all of these are under letter C, which is what we call communication. Today, everyone, I want to leave a particular reminder to all of us. Can you do me the favor of reading what you see on screen? Start we do not sound as convinced, and judging the believability factor, obviously it's half-hearted, 50-50. We can do better than that, everyone. Today, stop reading, start doing. Okay, it's a call for action. Because today's session would have gone down the drain without you not doing anything. But again, just a reminder, training and years of experience does not happen in 45 minutes. It cannot even be accomplished in half a day or one whole day. It takes quite a time to do that. Medium to long term. It's an investment, yes, but you're investing in your skills, in your soft skills. And that will actually set you apart as you move forward. Let no bad talk come out of your mouth, but only what is good to build others up and meet their needs. Ephesians 4.29. Everyone, just to share what we're doing, this is who we are and what we do for one-on-one -on -one coaching, for our group training, and for corporate image. Again, feel free to check us out. You can like us on Facebook, get connected to us via Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Feel free to send us an email as well. A cheerful look brings joy to the heart. Proverbs 15, verse 30. Going back to my original question earlier, if you're ready to build your image, can we end with a positive tone? Remember what you just said a while ago. You were introducing yourself with an adjective prior to your nicknames. Why don't you say that with 100% conviction and give yourself a rating. So what do I mean by a rating? One being the lowest number, 10 being the highest. How would you rate yourself today? Can I ask all of you to stand up please as we do that and as we close? UP Diliman College of Engineering. Today you heard us doing image building for the 21st century graduate. So, why don't we close with a positive affirmative statement. Let me give you an example. I'm Candid Carol, I'm a 10. So if I say that, what about you? Ready, set, and go. You have to say it louder than that everyone. Fill up this place. Ready, set, and take two. Thank you very much once again. It has been my pleasure to be with all of you.
you today. I'm Caro Ginatan. You can reach us at uh, Caro at EnhanceYourImage.Asia. Our website is right there on screen. So feel free to let us know should you have questions. And I don't know if we have time to do some, some questions or a couple of questions right now. Maybe two or three questions. As you can see, I don't care. Uh, for, for example, for job interviews, do we have to shave everything? I mean, like, the Very good question and very real, right? Remember, at job interviews, and this is something that we can talk lengthily maybe next time around, for job interviews, first impressions matter. So my, my best tip is make it count. You'll never be given a second chance to redo that, right? So, looking at the slides earlier, you remember, if you need to appear your best, especially in an industry that values neatness in terms of grooming and appearance, then by all means, better make sure you are clean shaven, just to be certain, right? And not only that, make sure your, your, your look is impeccable from head to toe. So from your hair, so make sure that you at least like give some time to actually fix your hair, especially for, for the young men. Make sure you don't look as if you've just gotten out of bed in the morning. So please make sure of that. No shiny or oily parts of the face. And to make sure that your clothing is actually well pressed and your shoes very clean. Because people will actually look at that. And for belts, for the men, make sure that if you're wearing black leather shoes, please match it with a black leather belt. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, last call. Are there any questions? Do you want a question or two? Okay, so if we don't have any more questions, again, let us give Ms. Carolina Tan a round of applause. And uh, we will call on now the Vice President for Logistics and Operations, Eric to award the certificate. Uh, the certificate of appreciation is awarded to Ms. Carolina D. Tan in grateful recognition of her valuable services as a guest speaker during the image building seminar held at the Engineering Theater in Belcher Hall in the University of the City of So, thank you.